Our Olympic coverage at the Young Hollywood Studio continues. Now we have gold medal winning Nathan Adrian. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing good. So I love the way you brought the gold medals here, actually. We were, we were kind of surprised. Literally like a shopping bag. Like, what's that all about? <laughs> well, you just got to keep them incognito. I mean, I'm not about to wear them anywhere, but uh, you, you should, know, you as, as long as no one knows you have them, it's, it's all right. So you're literally like walking down the street just holding a holding a shopping bag with gold medals. Don't tell everybody, but uh, you know, a, a lot of times if I have a bag in my hand and, and you see me walking the street, I might have them. So maybe ask me about it. So when you when you made it back to the states after London, what was the first thing you did? Oh man, I think I had a uh, a barbecue bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> it was about it was about time to uh, to to take a little break from the diet I had, I had put for myself. What was the diet actually? Um, you, you sure, know, the, like, the entire what time. What you actually eat to be The entire time backwards. I was like going through it, I was like, man, this isn't hard. Like this is this is super easy, and it's not very strict. But now that I'm off it, I'm like, oh my god, how did how did I ever do that? But uh, can you do carbs or is that? Yeah, there's, not there's it's actually a lot of carbs. It's just I I don't eat a lot of carbs at night. Um, I mean, I have to fuel myself somehow. We're, we're swimming up to five hours a day. So uh, I, I need that energy and then, you know, constantly have protein through the day and make sure I have an, enough servings of fruits and vegetables. And you said you've gone a whole week already without working out. What's, what, what's it going to be like when you finally make it back into the gym? It's going to be good. I mean, I, you know, I, I miss, miss the rush of endorphins you get right after you work out, you know. It's, it's, it's nice to feel like I'm progressing towards something and right now I'm kind of like, eh, well, I, I need a break from it. Have you been in a pool? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't, you don't want to jump in yet? I don't, Literally I'm not, since London, you haven't gotten a pool at all. I don't think I've been in a pool since the anchor leg of the 400 medley relay. <laughs> No, not even a pool party yet. Maybe <laughs> maybe soon, but uh Well let's talk about that though, because you got the fastest leg off like during that whole lead. We we went in there and it was we were underdogs to even medal at all. You know, on, on paper we were I think we were slated to get in between third and fourth. So, you know, coming in there and even even getting that lead at all, I think was really really kind of showing the world, hey, we're not going down without a fight. You know, you counted us out, but like kinda of, Screw you, man. We're, we're, we're here to win. And, and everyone, of course, was talking about Michael Phelps and, and his accomplishment. Was there more pressure on that, that you know, to, to help be a part of history, essentially? Um, you know, I don't, I don't think of it as pressure on me. I, I think it's kind of calming and relaxing being a part of a relay with Michael, because you know he's going to throw down a monster slit. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's a nice thing. But, uh, you know, in the future, it's, it's, it's going to be tough to fill those shoes. I don't know who's going to do it. So your 100 meter, 100 meter freestyle, I mean, your face when you won that was like priceless because everyone was like, oh my god, you won. You were just like, I won? Did I really win this? <laughs> Let's see the face. Can we recap that? I can't, no, 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 you can't. I can't, do, I, I I can't watching, fake I that face. The TV you know? and we were all just like <laughs> screaming and you were just like, oh my god, did I really just win this? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly how I felt. It was, I mean, I, I really had to put myself in a mentality of like, Treating it like a little kid in in recess, trying to race his friends. You know, it is. I've I've gone through the process of putting all this pressure on myself, like hyping it up and thinking it's a really big deal, and it's, it just doesn't work that well for me. So in my mind, I was like, hey, this is you know another practice, a guy stepping up on the block and just trying to get my hand on the wall first. I, I've done this before. When I kind of realized what was going on, I kind of I, I was taken aback, and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, whoa. I just won the Olympics, not just my heat, you know, so it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And which was most exciting? Because you won three, which you have on you. Was it the first one? Which had the biggest adrenaline rush? The biggest adrenaline rush? It definitely had to be the uh, the 100 meter freestyle individually. You know, I, I had yet to medal individually um, on, on a world championship or Olympic stage, so. And you were the first American male to actually win that that race. Yeah, in, in 24 years, actually. The, the last time that uh, that someone had done it was uh, the year of my, 1988. So it is, it is kind of an honor. It, it's pretty cool to be able to say that. And how much time do you spend together leading up to the Olympics, the relay team? Like, is it just a matter of like a couple months? Is it like years that you guys are hanging out? <laughs> well, we've spent a significant amount of time together throughout the other the other meets, the World Championships and the Pan Pacific Championships. We've, you know, there's a lot of veterans, but you know, there was about a mix of half and half. Uh, people that have never been on a national team before, and people that have been, you know, to the Olympics or to another big big stage event. I mean, we spend, you know, from all the way from trials until the Olympics, which is about a month. Um, so it's it's a lot of time to spend together. I mean, you really. 
don't get to know people well unless you really live with them and really interact with them outside of the pool. So it was really good to do that. And has your life changed now since, since all this excitement and now gold? You're like, well, I'm sporting these it's, medals. Yeah, yeah, now I get to hang out with these around my neck. <laughs> right. You're your best friends. <laughs> right, yeah. You're I sleep with your girls, right? These, these on my pillow like, or something, you know. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's changed a lot and it took me a little while to realize that I think just you know, being being recognized or being asked for an autograph or for, for anything. I mean, it, it's it's kind of, it's it's nice. You know, it, it's cool that people respect and and understand what goes in the sport, and it, it means a lot. So for the opening ceremony, you know, swimmers usually don't get to see it because then you have to swim the next day. Mm -hmm. So, but you did see the closing ceremony. I did. What was that? Was there a specific moment that was just like, wow, I can't believe this is really happening, that I'm here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, um, I think there were really two significant moments for me. I mean. One was the extinguishing of the flame. I, you know, it was kind of heart wrenching. I was like, "Oh, it's it's really over. That's such a bummer." Um, and then the other one, yeah, yeah, it's so sad. You know, it all like folds down. You're like, "Oh, yeah." The next one was when the dancers from Rio came out, and that's cool. You know, I mean, you see all these dancers, and you're like. It's time to get excited about the next one. It's time to you know start looking towards that, and you know I think Rio is going to be so so different. I mean the culture is just so different than ours or, or England, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. They go out holding the medals. You're an inspiration Absolutely. to everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, gotta, I gotta wear one of these. I yeah. Gotta, the gold. I, I'm all about gold. <laughs> all right. You got one too? Come on, Chase. I feel like I'll, all right. You should keep the gold. So no, that's I'm, all right. I've, I've gotten to enjoy the gold. I'll get my, my experience anybody, so. wearing the gold. Yeah, this is pretty wow. serious. And for all of you that have never held one, it is actually the heaviest heavier, thing I've ever heavier than I would have thought. They it's are really as heavy as I would have thought. Very wow. Heavy. There you go, Nathan Adrian. Well, congratulations. Three medals, wow. 2012 Amazing. London Olympics. Hanging out yep. with the studio. Thanks for coming. See you in Rio. Thank you guys. See you.